Hey, this is Kendra with Signing Agent Basics, and in this video, I'm going to tell you how to use social media to market your signing agent business. When I first became a signing agent in 2007, LinkedIn had only been around for five years. Facebook had only been around for three years. YouTube had only been around for two years. Twitter had only been around for one year and social media sites such as Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok hadn't even been created yet. Back in those good old days, having a presence online for your business meant having a website because that was pretty much your only option. But boy, how times have changed. Now, most successful businesses not only have a website, but they also have multiple social media accounts. Social media accounts are a great way for people to learn about your business and it also gives the consumer and the business a way to communicate and share information with one another almost instantly. Now, while having a social media account is not a necessity to become a successful signing agent, it can be a benefit to your success if you do it right. Because believe it or not, there are ways to do social media right and there are ways to do social media wrong. And in this video, I'm gonna give you my tips and tricks on how to do social media the right way so that you can have a successful notary or signing agent social media page. But before I go any further, I wanna know, do you want to learn how to create a successful social media page for your signing agent business? If so, do me a favor and give this video a thumbs up right now. Which social media platforms do you currently use for your signing agent business? Do you feel that having social media pages for your business is a good thing or a bad thing? Go down into the comment section right now and let me know. All right, so now on to my tips and tricks on how to do social media the right way as a notary or a signing agent. First, you will need to choose the social media platforms that work for you. You do not have to have a page on every single social media platform. You may choose to just post on Twitter or Instagram may be your platform of choice, or you can choose to have a page on two or three platforms, maybe Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. It's totally up to you. Just choose platforms that you are familiar with and comfortable using and posting on. Next, separate your business and personal social media accounts and keep your notary or signing agent business page professional and all about business. While you are a small business, that doesn't mean that you should not put forth a professional appearance for people looking at your social media page. So while you may love your children or your pets or what you cooked for dinner last night, people looking for a notary or for a signing agent really aren't interested in those things. And posting photos of those things can possibly turn potential clients away from using your services. Also, ladies and gentlemen, while I know that you are all beautiful and handsome, your potential clients don't want to see a new selfie of you every single day. And ladies, I know that you adore your manicures, but again, people who are looking for a signing agent aren't impressed by your nail color or photos of your freshly polished nails. Now, these are just a couple of examples, but you get the point. And it's also considered a wise business practice to keep business and religion separate. Remember that your potential clients may not share the same religious beliefs as you. And by posting about your religious beliefs, you may lose out on possible business. Next, your business social media page needs to provide value, but that doesn't mean that your page has to be boring or filled with statistics and numbers. Providing value just means giving your followers something interesting to look at. That may mean giving your followers humorous posts about something in the notary or signing agent industry. Or it may mean providing useful information or inspiration. That could mean a short written post, that could mean a photo, that could mean a video or a combination of all three. 
Your followers should be excited to check out your page on a regular basis because they know that you're gonna have something good there for them to look at and possibly learn from that will make their lives a little bit better. Don't just use your page to ask people for business. Give something of value to your followers first and then they will be more inclined to give you their business. Along those same lines, you need to stay true to the social media platform that you're on when you are making your posts. So what do I mean by that? Well, every social media platform has a different feel. Some platforms are more professional while other platforms are more casual. So let me give you some examples. I personally have a business Facebook page, a business Instagram page, a business LinkedIn page, and this business YouTube channel. However, what I post on each of those pages is very different. Facebook and Instagram have a more casual feel to them, so my posts on those two platforms are more casual, fun, and humorous. Those platforms are also great for posting photos and short videos, and so the majority of my posts on those platforms are photos and short videos. LinkedIn, in comparison, has a much more professional feel, so the posts that I make on LinkedIn are much more professional. I rarely post anything humorous on that platform. Most of my posts on LinkedIn consist of informational or inspirational business subject matters. LinkedIn is also great for posting photos and short videos as well as articles. So I also post articles that I've written that you won't find on my Facebook and Instagram pages. And YouTube is obviously great for video. So I post videos here on YouTube that are mostly informational with a little bit of humor sprinkled in. Now, if humor isn't your thing, that's okay. Just post photos, videos, and information that are related to your notary and signing agent business that your followers will find interesting. But before you post, think to yourself, would I wanna see a post like this on a business page? If the answer is no, then don't post it. My next tip on how to have a successful notary or signing agent social media page is to be consistent because once you start, you can't stop. A business page with inconsistent posts or no posts in a long period of time makes it look like your business is no longer up and running, which is definitely not a good thing. Now, while you don't have to post every single day, you do need to commit to a regular posting schedule. That might be once a month, twice a month, once a week, whatever works for you. I would suggest starting out posting once a week on social media sites like Facebook and Instagram, and then possibly moving up to a more frequent posting schedule. It can be more difficult than you think to come up with fresh content and ideas on a daily basis, so you don't wanna overwhelm yourself right out of the gate. Now, if you decide to post videos on YouTube, be aware that producing professional quality videos is a huge commitment and it takes a lot of time. A short video like this one can take hours to script, record, edit, and upload. And if you're gonna start a YouTube channel for your business that you want to grow, then you will have to put out quality professional videos, not just quick videos shot on your cell phone. This means investing time and effort into learning how to shoot and edit videos so that you end up with a professional result. So if you want to have a YouTube channel, I would suggest doing one video a month and then moving up to a more frequent schedule when you feel ready. Do you guys want me to do a more in-depth video about how to film and edit YouTube videos and how to grow your YouTube channel? If so, comment down below and let me know. Another tip to doing social media the right way is to interact with your followers. Don't just post a photo or a video, but also ask questions in your posts and encourage your followers to like the post and answer in the comments. And when they do answer, respond back to that follower. All social media platforms use analytics to decide which pages to highlight and promote, and in general, pages with good follower interaction are more likely to be highlighted and promoted, which means more exposure and more followers for your business. 
And my last tip on how to have a successful notary or signing agent social media page is to not make your business page private. The whole point of a business social media page is to put your information about your business out to the public so that they can find out about your services and purchase your service as a notary or a signing agent. If your business page is private, they won't be able to do that. And trust me, most people are not going to request access to your business page. If your business page is private, they're simply going to assume that you don't want their business and they're going to move on to another business with a public page and information that is easier to access. So signing agents, was this video helpful? If so, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button right now. Also, if you find my videos helpful and you want to know how I can help to train you to be a more productive and profitable signing agent, go down into the description box for more information about my signing agent training program and my remote online notarization training program. And if you are not already following me on Instagram, LinkedIn, and Facebook, make sure that you do that today. Links to all of my socials are also down in the description box. No matter what, make sure that you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and then hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. This is Kendra with Signing Agent Basics, hoping that you have a productive and profitable day.